Ever wondered how plants reproduce? The answer lies in an intricate process known as pollination. This amazing natural phenomenon allows plants to transfer pollen from the male structure of a flower to the female structure, enabling fertilization and the production of seeds. First off, autogamy, also known as self-pollination, is the simplest form of pollination. Here, the pollen grains from the anther of a flower are transferred to the stigma of the same flower. Think of it as a plant taking care of business all by itself. This method is efficient and ensures reproduction, even in the absence of external pollinators or unfavorable conditions. But nature loves diversity and has more than one trick up its sleeve. Enter Gaetonogamy, a type of pollination where the pollen grains are transferred from the anther of one flower to the stigma of another flower on the same plant. It's a little like passing a message from one room in a house to another. Finally, we have xenogamy. This type of pollination involves the transfer of pollen grains from the anther of a flower on one plant to the stigma of a flower on a different plant. It's like sending a letter to a friend living in a different city. This method brings about the most genetic variation, leading to a stronger, more resilient plant population. In this wondrous world of pollination, there are many agents at play. These include wind, water, insects, birds, bats, and other animals that transport pollen from one flower to another. These agents play a crucial role in the process of xenogamy. Plants have also developed several outbreeding devices to prevent self-pollination and promote cross-pollination, thereby ensuring genetic diversity. These include physical and biochemical barriers, different timing of male and female reproductive phase, and more. The interaction between pollen and pistil is another fascinating aspect of pollination. This involves the recognition of the right kind of pollen, followed by its germination and the eventual growth of the pollen tube, leading to fertilization. In essence, pollination is a remarkable process that ensures the survival and evolution of plant species. Through autogamy, gaitonogamy and xenogamy, Plants reproduce and create the diverse and beautiful world of flora we see around us. The agents of pollination and outbreeding devices further aid in this process, promoting cross-pollination and genetic diversity. The intricate dance of pollen-pistol interaction finally leads to the creation of new seeds, the future generation of plants. So, the next time you marvel at the beauty of a flower or enjoy the fruits of a tree, Remember the intricate process of pollination that made it all possible. It's a beautiful reminder of how interconnected the natural world truly is.